What is going down, everybody? It's unbeatable Jacob, man. Quick gameplay video. Start doing a couple of these. I think I can make this work, you know, if we just do in clutch time and stuff. So today, don't know why they call him this, but apparently he's the minister of defense, man. 90 what overall 98 overall jonathan isaac the dude six foot eleven i mean if you guys are new to my team you might not know but in the past jonathan isaac's always been a great player in my team um you know back in 20 he had a point guard card even in 19 when he was a rookie i think or 18 he had like a a pretty good like budget sapphire um last year he had an opal in the fan favorites he's back again this year in the fan favorites and the one thing i've been talking about a lot recently is there's a certain height where you need to have a 90 ball control to be able to like really move and like combo up moves so i don't know if you guys can really tell but it's just very delayed doing dribble moves with him since i don't have a shoe on him yet I actually pulled KD today, so I don't know if he's going to be in the squad anymore. Maybe I'll sell KD and use the Minister of Defense himself. But just so you guys get a little bit of an idea, this is what you're working with with Jonathan Isaac. And honestly, with this 86 ball control, he feels super clunky to me. Um, not sure if you guys really want to be using Jonathan Isaac as like a primary ball handler anyways. But he does have shifty, so if you guys want to... I'd highly recommend if you are going to use him as somebody who's putting the ball on the floor, get a ball control shoe on him and get that up to 90 because where it stands right now is only at a 86. So 86 is fine if you're like six foot three, but if you are six foot 11, you need to have a 90 to be able to move properly at all because this is just like really hard to dribble with him the way it is right now. But overall, seems like he's pretty decent. The dude's six foot eleven, so it's not like the biggest deal in the world if he's not moving like he's, you know, Kyrie Irving out there. But let's just chuck him in the lineup here at small forward. Looks like he is a primary power forward that can play small forward. Throw him in and see what he can do in a clutch time type of game. I think he'll be pretty good. Um, do I think he'll be better than Thon Maker? That's kind of the question I want to find out because I haven't really used him yet. If I think he's going to be, if I think he's going to be around that area, definitely going to be putting a ball control shoe on him. I think that's necessary. But hey, you know, not everybody wants to put the ball on the floor with their small forward and I get it. We'll put him on Luka to see how he does defensively as well. I think uh, if you can guard Luka in this game, you can guard anybody in this game. But, uh, you know, you can only do so much if the dude actually knows what he's doing. So we're just going to try and feed the ball to him as much as we can. Try and score every point with him, if at all possible. Yeah, it's just really, really hard to dribble with Jonathan Isaac. It's just very hard to dribble with Jonathan Isaac without the 86 ball control. A part of me wants to, like, end this video and go ahead and put a ball control shoe on him and redo this because I'm really not sure how to use him if I can't put the ball on the floor with him and I'm trying to score with him. I guess like that. I mean, you can do something with them. It's just everything is like a step delayed and it's really hard to combo up stuff. And he's playing lanes, get behind the four point line and I uh, smoke it. Damn, that would have been huge. I could have stole that too. I just wasn't ready. Okay. Get the ball to the minister of defense. Spin escape. No, bro. He cannot move without a ball control shoe. I can't lie. He really can't. He doesn't have a good leaner. It's not normal. Wow. Okay. Throw that. Throw that. Damn. Now we're getting bopped. This is bad. Like, I really should have put the ball control shoe on him for this video, but it is what it is. Seems like the off-ball CPU, though, like, doesn't want to step on him. I don't know what his three-point tendency is, but it does not seem like it's very high. Good defense, Jonathan Isaac, on the break. Ah, oh, man, I wish he could lean to the rack. Hey, nope. All right, chill, chill. Jab step. I'm tweaked out. I really just can't move with him. I really just cannot move with this Jonathan Isaac, which makes it very hard for me to do a gameplay with them. Because it's like, what's the alternative? Do I like put him in a pick and pop? I guess I could try and do that because I cannot move with the dude at all. 
We'll try and put him in a pick and pop and see what happens. Might be able to get a quick four. We'll see. He didn't help off at all. I don't know what it is, but his CPU does not want to step on him whatsoever. He's got sharp takeover too, which is nice to see. Right off rip. There's no way that goes in. It goes in. Okay. I guess I'm just going to keep trying to put him in pick and pots because I do not think I could score off the dribble with him without the ball control shoe. Let me see if he switches off and his player drops. What happened? Off ball foul? Weird. I didn't even see. I'm gonna see if I can get him to cut to the rim right after the inbounds. I got it to work, but <laughs> luck happened. Okay. We're down three. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this or not. Scoring only with Jonathan Isaac. And Kareem's like wide open under the hoop because he knows what I'm trying to do. But he dropped. Alright, 12 points for the Minister of Defense. This is where he can really shine as defensively, I think. I mean, I guess I just kinda have a I kinda have an issue where I just see the game very one-dimensionally. I want everybody to be able to dribble and quick stop. But at the end of the day, it's like I'm sure most of y'all really ain't expect Jonathan Isaac to do that anyhow. Jump shot's like not the fastest by any means, but it's fast enough and it's really easy to grain. Sure, most of y'all know. It's been the same jump shot on Jonathan Isaac forever. Good contest from Isaac on the break, too. He really does not want to step. Blinder me. No way. We got the board, though. I want to shoot that so bad, but I won't. Every point getting scored with the Minister of Defense, man. Pop, pop. No stam, wide open, and I miss. That's on me. Even with no stam, I probably should be hitting that tie game. Less than a minute left. And he gets the dunk. Okay. Let me try and shoot a four-pointer with him if he's got enough stamina to do it. No four. <sighs> yeah, that... Just score. I don't want to lose. Okay. It's just tough, man. It's tough to, like, do any sort of dribble moves with him without the ball control. He gets a free steal for me, though. Behind the back is terrible. Let's see if he's going to be able to get one for me. I thought I was getting the foul animation. Fail me out, Kareem. <laughs> I'd be so pissed. I can't lie. Jonathan Isaac with the steal. Is he dropping him? And why? Look at Jonathan Isaac. <laughs> He's out of there. Don't know what to tell y'all, man. I wanted to show you guys the stats, but I can't. <laughs> That's crazy. Jonathan Isaac's good, man. But you got to do, though, if you're using him. If you want to play like I wanted to play with him, put a ball control shoe on him. Defensively, he's going to get the job done. He's pretty legit. Is he better than Thon? I, I just think it's all preference, really. It's really just preference. He's he's good, though. He's good. Is he better than KD? Probably not. Is he better than Thon? 50-50? Better defensively? Probably. He probably is better than Thon overall. He probably is. I'll say it. He probably is better than Thon. I think I'm going to play Thon over him just because I like him more, but just, you know, player for player. Bar for bar, stat for stat, badge for badge, animation for animation. I think Jonathan Isaac's better than Thon. Hope you guys appreciated the video, man. Trying to do what I can out here on YouTube right now. So, yeah, catch y'all soon.